Hi and welcome to this video tutorial series on how to install and use Plazo together with Elasticsearch and Kibana. Plazo in combination with Elasticsearch and Kibana enables us to do advanced computer forensics timeline analysis. We use Plazo for extracting timestamps of computer systems. Then we use Elasticsearch and Kibana to search through, visualize and analyze the extracted data. It is an amazingly powerful combination for computer forensics purposes. In this first video, I will demonstrate you how to install all the necessary software to get up and running. So let's get started. In my opinion, the easiest way to install and use Plazo, Elasticsearch and Kibana is to use Ubuntu version 14.04 as your operating system. So for this example, I'm using a VMware virtual machine running Ubuntu 14.04 Server Edition. Now we need the programming language Python 2.7. This comes with Ubuntu, so no worries about this. To be able to run Elasticsearch and Kibana, we need to install Oracle Java 8. We'll use a personal package archive provided by the web update team. Use the following commands to install the personal package archive. Notice the warning because of the release of Java 9. Read it if you like and hit enter. Great, we can now continue to install Java. Install it using the following commands. Now we accept the license agreement. Perfect. Next up is to install Plazo and a Python Elasticsearch package called PyElasticsearch. To do this, we will add another personal package archive. It is called the Launchpad PPA for Google Investigative Forensic Toolkit. Then we will install a Python package management system called PIP. Here we go. We execute the following commands. Now let's check if everything is properly installed. We run the following commands. Now as you can see we have Plazo lock the timeline version 1.4.0, the current stable version. We run another command. This way we can list all output modules. And as you can see Elastic is available as an output module in Plazo. Great, now let's move on installing Elasticsearch and Kibana. Please notice, at this moment the Elastic Output Module in Plazo is only compatible with Elasticsearch version 1, but by using the Plazo JSON line output, we can create a special formatted JSON file. By using a tool called Logstash, we can easily import our data into all Elasticsearch versions, including the latest version 2. I will make a separate video tutorial on how to do this. For the current tutorial, I will be demonstrating you how to use the Elastic Output Module in Plazo and therefore we will install and use Elasticsearch 1.7 and Kibana 4.1. Let's install Elasticsearch. First, we need to install the Elastic Public GPG key. Next, we add Elasticsearch to our repository source files. Notice we are installing the source file for Elasticsearch 1.7. Now install Elasticsearch by giving the next commands. We want to start Elasticsearch at boot time. To do this we will execute the following commands. Now to start Elasticsearch we run the next command. And we will check if it's running properly by using htop. Now the second process here is our Elasticsearch process. Great! Our final step of this tutorial is to install Kibana. At the time of creating this tutorial the latest Kibana version compatible with Elasticsearch 1.7 is 4.1.6. Let's start off by downloading Kibana. Kibana. 
Now we extract it to the current directory. And after extracting Kibana, we install it in the opt directory. So let's move it over there. Like Elasticsearch, we want to start Kibana as a service and at boot time. To do this, we need to install a script in the ads init.d directory. We install a script from GitHub, created by Rusty Wilson. Thanks a lot, Rusty, for this. Now, to be able to use the script, we need to modify it a little bit. I like to use Vim for this. Now, the short description says Kibana 4.2, but it works fine on 4.1 as well. The most important modification we make is in this path. We installed Kibana into the opt directory, so we need to change this into opt instead of it being bin. We save the script and exit. Next step is to move it to an important system directory to be able to run the script as a service and at boot time. To be able to execute the script we need to change some permissions. Let's make sure Kibana starts at boot time. And finally, let's fire it off. Just like we did with Elasticsearch, I use HTOP to check if it's running. And as you can see, the second process here is Kibana. Perfect. Now to check if everything is running as it should, open up a web browser and surf to the IP address of your virtual machine, followed by the port number 5601. Now let's check our IP address. The IP address of the virtual machine is shown here. I copy it into the browser, add our port number, and Kibana is running fine. That was it, we finished the first part. To summarize everything we've discussed, use Ubuntu 1404. It's really the easiest way to get started with Plazo and Elasticsearch in Kibana. We've installed Oracle Java 8, then we've installed Plazo and a Python package called Py Elasticsearch. We've installed Elasticsearch and finally we've installed Kibana. In the next tutorial I will demonstrate you guys on how to use Plazo and output it to Elasticsearch directly. So we can do some great timeline analysis in Kibana. Now in a separate tutorial I will show you guys how to use the JSON line output and import it using Logstash into the latest Elasticsearch version. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.